listening to ICLU Radio, your campus station. This is Ethan. Talks with Ethan Klein Official. I'm super excited to be here on ICLU Radio. So let's get into it. I'll be posting this podcast slash radio show live on all platforms. So let's get into it. Well, guys, my name is Ethan. Uh, I've been doing the social media stuff since I was 13. And I've been here for quite a while. I've seen all the major influencers from the beginning of their start to now where they are. And it, it's just pretty insane to see. Uh, being live on the station, this is my first time working the board. So, you know, I am just getting used to radio. I was recently on the Tim Conway Jr. show for about 10 minutes. That was a very nerve-wracking experience because, like, I didn't expect... Um, I didn't expect to be on a, you know, a radio station, uh, you know, uh, you know, there's a lot of rules when it comes to radio and what gets to be broadcasted um, online and on the station because there's a lot of rules. Well, this is a caller station, so, you know, uh, this is going to be my first time doing this, but I'm super duper excited and I'm super duper uh, just passionate to talk about what I do. And, um, by the way, so my podcast started with me introducing how to conduct yourself at influencer events, but this one is going to be where I actually introduce myself. I wanted to give you a little, ta- a little preview on my other episode that I did uh, recently, three months ago, and I haven't posted since. So this is an opportunity to take this and put it up there to show you what I do. Uh, I've been doing this uh, content creation for a very, I would say long time, like a long time. Uh, You know, I didn't know that this whole thing could turn into a career, uh, to be honest. It was very, um, I know a lot of people have said a lot of nasty things on the internet. Probably you've seen those comments on a bunch of different people's pages who post content. Uh, My thing is just being human and, you know, truly just giving you what I created. Honestly, I enjoy making the videos. I enjoy editing. I I enjoy the whole process. So the process is key when it comes to doing the content creation. I've been to many major events. I recently was just at the Oreo X Coca-Cola collaboration event which that was just such an amazing opportunity to go to and to be invited. There was a lot of um, just a lot of things that I could create at one location. You know, when you think of content creator, it's not just you're just sitting at home all day uh, doing nothing. Um, It's planning out the content. It's learning. Is my audience going to like this? It's also positioning yourself in a way where you might get noticed by a big brand just because you, you know, either you feature their product in your video or it could just happen where a brand is looking for somebody and they're very interested in what you do and they see, they see your vision and they see, and it could turn into many different opportunities that a door could open. Uh, What I look at is the amount of doors that open for me just because of what I do and being a part of social media, being part of a social audio. uh, I originally, during the pandemic, I was sitting at home and, you know, there was nothing to do. It was just purely either Zoom or it was other social audio apps that are really big now. Uh, And what I did was... I found a way to get onto an invite-only platform. And eventually, (laughs) I networked with so many people. Networking is important in this social media field and putting yourself out there. I know I'm putting myself out here right now talking to you guys, but this this is the beauty of, of creation and the beauty of just doing what you love to do. The amount of events I've been to just because of all the things I've done and all the content I've created, 
it's just uh, insane. I didn't know this was a whole thing. <laughs> I know it's it's fascinating, but it's also like, oh my god, um, what what are you doing right now with your life? You're in college, and you're about to graduate this spring, which is another thing. I didn't, I couldn't even imagine myself what I was like when I was younger. I mean, to to even think about it because, uh, you know. I went through all of school <laughs> and I was just like, you know what? I'm going to make the choice to come to college and I'm still able to do what I enjoy doing. I'm still able to create content. I'm still able to be the person I want to be and enjoy life. And I think, you know, just doing it every day gives me just just being happy. And I think that's what people really need in life is happiness. And we got to create those positive, positive spaces and, you know, for everybody. I think everybody, you know, needs the encouragement and needs, you know, say that they can do it. And you do you, you know. You can do it. And you, you know, uh, just being you is what it should be in life. Don't worry about your flaws. Just be you. Here's a little background on me. Um, my background on me is I started when I was 13 years old. Uh, I started doing Amazon reviews before they ever an, an Amazon influencer program ever existed. Now there's an influencer program, which is just wild to think about. And then I did SoundCloud. I have a SoundCloud that I did when I was 12-ish, 13-ish. I was in, like, middle school. And to those days, those songs still are on SoundCloud. <laughs> yes, a lot of people make fun of me, which is fine. I mean, you know, you're going to get hate somewhere. And then after that, it was Vine, then the live streaming apps, and then it turned into Musical.ly. And Musical.ly was this app where you could lip sync, you can create whatever you want to create, whatever you want to do. That's what the app was about. And then it got acquired by TikTok. And TikTok now, everybody is on TikTok, which is just crazy to think about. That one app inspired so much creation. Now, these days, anybody can go on a platform and create content, whether you're 21 or whether you're 45. Everybody has a place and everybody has a voice. Just remember, create with intention and don't set yourself short. And, you know, you got to to be, you know, to be stature, you got to be everywhere. You know, if you want to do something, pull your passion towards it. But just know, got to be everywhere. You got to show up. You know, showing up is very important. And being a part of this influencer world, it's you know, showing up, making those connections and networking is the best thing that I could really tell somebody who wants to be in my shoes. And I didn't know. I just threw up content, <laughs> throwing up content, and it went somewhere and it resonated with, with people, which I really, which I really enjoy. Um, as I'm talking, I'm just thinking, what else? I can say to somebody who has aspirations to be like me. And you know what? I got to tell you. Just be you. So in this Talks with Ethan Klein official podcast, uh, I started this as a passion project. Uh, it was for a class that I, in college. And it was like, make a podcast. Do one episode. And the episode was only eight minutes. Eight minutes long. And I edited that podcast it took about three and a half hours to edit and I enjoyed the editing process I had to make sure the sound levels were good I had to make sure when somebody was listening because audio is very very important when you're recording something whenever you're listening to something it should be the sound should be you know it should be balanced right balance is very important so as I'm talking to you right now I'm looking at those sound levels and it looks like right now we're not peaking which is on point like that's how it should be uh being a part of uh this radio station is just a really cool opportunity and being broadcasted on the internet i mean wow there's there's so much you can do and just 
I I feel like it, it's just this is just something that is special and being honored to speak on this radio is just one thing um one thing that um one thing that's just amazing all right we're going to take a break now and and you're listening to ICLU radio your campus station and from your campus station well we're back guys we're back on air uh so my goal for this podcast slash radio show um i'm gonna bring on some artists i'm gonna talk about social media i'm going to talk about what's happening because the social media world is huge and it's now expanding and there's so many things going on in this space that i feel like are very 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 major especially now with what's going on and and how social media is used highly in life uh as we can see right now did you guys know snapchat is the least toxic app for teens mental health Very interesting. Did you know that TikTok introduced a delete and re-edited feature? And the oral arguments for the TikTok ban happened this Monday, September 16th. Uh, I follow all these people that are in the social media world. This is coming from Leah Haberman. Uh, She's a creator economy expert. So she has a lot of what's going on with social media what's going on in the space, what's going on in the industry, because this stuff is just important to to note. Uh, Did you guys know that the first ever Asian Creator Awards in 2014 took place Thursday night in LA? Uh, And then did you know 73% of US Gen Z say they make online purchases from creators? That's very surprising, but it's true. So these are actually coming from people who work in the space and so i'm going to come on here and talk about what's going on in the social media world what's new in social media and then i'm going to mix in some artists to be on air i'm going to what do you call it just a full show just of talking about what is going on actually because social media moves like you have to be on it or you're gonna like information is always coming out about these social media platforms and it's very essential to be on it since for what i do it's it's important to to learn what's what's a part um of it uh recently tiktok just introduced a delete and re-edit feature so you can make changes within the platforms and repost up to three times this is smart guys because usually when you post content sometimes either you don't like something in the video or the thumbnail or the music so they're giving you the ability to edit the video three times which is very amazing of TikTok to do so now uh, let's also talk about uh, let's see what else so there's a new slider tool on TikTok where you can customize your for you page how many people have uh, how many people have actually watched the For You page on TikTok? Uh, watching the For You page on TikTok is basically your page that it's whatever you like on TikTok. So how it works is whatever you like on TikTok, whatever you interact with, you're going to see more videos like that on your For You page. So now there's a new slider to control what you see on your For You page. And remember, if you don't like something on your For You page, make sure to click, hold down on the screen and make sure to say... Uh, not interested at this moment so the algorithm knows that you're not interested also Amazon partners with TikTok to allow in-app checkout so if you buy something on TikTok and it could be from Amazon now you'll be able to buy products through TikTok and check out on Amazon so there's always going some they're always doing something innovative another trend that a lot of people are on is called TikTok made me buy a trend And basically, the TikTok shop is where people are buying these products. It's very interesting to see what what people are buying these days on TikTok because a lot of creators, uh, it's called UGC. So what they do is they pretty much come on camera and they basically take products and they call it their TikTok haul. 
and TikTok made me buy it. There's products I've gotten on TikTok, a various amount of products. I've gotten an ice machine. I've gotten uh, some nice clothes. I've gotten a pillow before. I've gotten a bunch of different items that I actually really enjoy and like. So that's why uh, TikTok made me buy it. Everybody is everybody's going to TikTok to buy their tchotchkes or things that things that you might never know that TikTok sells. Like there's this chamoy sauce that I really have been seeing a lot of people use. So I'm going to go buy it soon on TikTok as soon as this show is over. And then uh, there's just there's just a lot going on, especially with uh, YouTube. Uh, YouTube, uh, they rolled out an ad year sticker. So what you can do is you can create on YouTube Shorts a there's a sticker called Add Add Yours, and you can either answer a question or you can add your like reaction to the video, especially on YouTube Shorts. So that's a fun thing. And then um, Snapchat is basically user 16 plus is able to post content to a new publicly viewable content pages and stories will be recommended to Snapchatters who are already their friends or followers with whom they share mutual friends with. So that means that if I post on Snapchat, then you're going to see my story and then you're going to see another friend of my story. So there's there's always stuff going on in social media. The Emmys is coming up on September 15th, so tomorrow. Uh, TwitchCon San Diego comes up on September 20th to 2022. Sorry, September 20th to, to the 22nd. And Pinterest is doing an event October 1st. So yeah, guys, that's the social media news for the week. You're listening to ICLU Radio. This is Ethan on your campus station. You're listening to I Sell You Radio. This is Ethan on your campus station. Well, welcome back, guys. So thank you for adhering to the break. I really appreciate it. Now let's get back into what else is going on. So let's put it this way. I'm going to talk about my recent event I went to for Oreo X Coca-Cola because I got to tell you guys. That event was one of my highlights. Uh, you would, it was at this bike motor shop, this like motorcycle club in downtown LA. It was, it was really cool. Uh, what you do is you walked in and there was Oreo all over the walls and it was so like amazing. They had a wall. The whole theme of the marketing behind the Oreo X Coca Cola collab was your bestie so basically everybody that night was calling everyone their bestie because that's the marketing strategy behind the oreo x coca-cola cookies uh the cookie the slurpee and the the coca-cola like drink the oreo they were all on point uh the cookie has this pop rocks inside so uh, you get the, you know, when you, you know, when you pour Coca Cola and you get the fizzy, they wanted to simulate that. So when you eat a Oreo X Coca Cola cookie, you would bite into it and you would feel the 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 pop rocks or like the the cookie part. It's like pop rocks, and it it would like you know, pop uh, in your mouth, type of situation. Uh, they had uh, the Slurpee, which was amazing. And then the whole theme around the besties. So pretty much Spotify was there. And Spotify had like their own little activation, you call it, where you you went into this booth and you were on camera. And basically they had you, they had you make your besties playlist. So we went, we had to go on this website. I think you can, anybody can do it. And pretty much you would fill out this like little quiz. And then your Spotify has the playlist auto-generated. And then with that playlist, you went on the other side and you could take a photo uh, of you and your bestie and that would be your playlist, like, you know, album cover for your Spotify account, which I think that's a fun thing to do. Like, you know, um, creating that type of thing and 
being a part of a, a launch party for a product was amazing. They had food wise, they had Oreo flavored、um, mousse. That was really good. The mousse was really good. They had a Carnitas Coca Cola infused taco. Tell me that. A Coca Cola infused taco. Like, what? It was amazing. I had like five of them. <laughs> And then they had this grilled cheese, Oreo flavored grilled cheese with the soup, the tomato soup being Oreo flavored. I mean, just like ridiculous things like that. Like, that was just amazing. And then they had sli Oreo sliders. It, it was just amazing. And then they had this tattoo artist、uh, that. Did a really cool tattoo of me. Unfortunately, it already washed off, but you know, on my social media feeds, you'll see I created all these videos from the event.、Uh, I'm on every platform, so you can find me at Ethan Klein Official if you want to take a look.、Um, all one word. And you can take a look at my experience at the Coke Oreo collab. And 7 Eleven was there too, and Spotify and Snapchat. They were all there. Because Snapchat had a little, you know, like the filters, they had a little photo booth.、Uh, there was a lot of like interactive things to do. They had this one room that was like,、um, what do you call it?、Um, you walked in and, and it was like、uh, trippy. I don't know what it's I don't know what the thing is called, but like the room like, had these stripes all over, and the stripes,、uh, when you're looking at it on your phone, you would see like, Not different images, but it's like trippy. It like, messes, it like messes with your mind, I think. I don't know what it's called, but yeah, that was a pretty cool thing to see. And I didn't know, like, it was just like crazy to think about、uh, being at an event with these employees who work at Oreo, Coca Cola, 7 Eleven, Snapchat, and Spotify. Wow, all these companies in one doing one event. I mean, and then I got them dancing.、Uh, the DJ who was DJing the event was like, come behind here. And so I did. And what happened was, I, I just, he's like, just scratch when you want to scratch. So I watched the, you know, when you're watching a DJ screen, like the music go by, you're supposed to, like, you know, time stamp your scratches, right? So I was looking, I was looking, and then I found the right moment and I went, Scratch, scratch.、Uh, and every, everybody started dancing. So I guess I'm kind of a corporate DJ now, I call myself, <laughs> because、uh, if I made corporate people dance, then I can make anybody dance. <laughs> so yeah, that was one of the highlights.、Uh, I guess I'm a corporate DJ now, and I'm a content creator <laughs> and, and a radio host. <laughs> so yeah, you know, there's that factor with it. Um, let's see what else. It was just a fun night, and the cool the cool perk about this was they gave Uber codes. So the Uber codes got me from the event back to school, which is amazing. I mean, what event? I've never been to an event with an Uber code. Like, that was my first time using an Uber code, which, you know, I mean, I've never used one. I didn't know the Uber codes ever existed, which. Is crazy to think about, but like, yeah, they were just like, click this link and put in your Uber account. And it automatically, like, you know, put put your Uber in or like, you know, your Uber thingy in. And then、um, the very interesting part, though, was、um, it was a very like heavy influencers were there. A lot, of, a lot of creators were there, YouTubers were there. Like, everybody was just there together. And It was, it was a very fun and very fun experience, I think. Like, you know, it was, it was great. I really enjoyed it. And I've been to plenty other events that were really cool and fun.、Uh, this summer was literally packed with events. It was、uh, Emmys week. I went to the P, like, NBC, FYC. I went to Netflix. I went to an app 
event, app launch event for a food social media platform, which I'm very excited for. I went to VidCon, which was really fun. I loved hanging with the content creators that we see online today. Uh, what else did I do? I partied with TikTok. I've done, uh, I ran the halls at VidCon. Let's see what else. I I went to VCon. VCon was so cool, guys. They turned LA Crypto Arena into VCon. So it was three days. Gary V had his Gary Vaynerchuk had his his VCon, and I got to meet a lot of people, networked a bunch, and I got to um, I got to participate, which was really fun. I have some Gary V trading cards. Which, you know, we're living in a world of digital collectibles, NFT stuff, uh, which is just crazy to think about. Uh, T-Pain performed. T-Pain is iconic. He puts on a good show and knows how to entertain the crowd. And a bunch of different people were there. They One of the things that really shocked me was there was this hologram that... Um, Basically, how it works is uh, you can be hologrammed anywhere around the world. So they had a demo on stage for Howie Mandel and my friend Shira had a a talk that they did on the stage. And he uh, Howie Mandel brought on this like hologram thing where like you basically get your body gets scanned type of thing. And then you can be beamed all over the world. And so, like, when people interact with it, right, you can talk to it, right? And it's like a virtual assistant. So instead of, you know, having a employee help you at a store, you would tap on this machine and it would be either be, you know, they could beam anybody. They could even be me. And you could be uh, beamed and basically tap on it and basically talk to you in different languages. And it has your voice. And it's just really insane. And it's just, it's like this hologram, but like to the next level. You, you can see it around the world. It's just like there's so many different things that go into this. And it was just really cool to watch everybody do their thing at VCon and talk. And now I'm back at school, which is just, uh, you know, coming back to school is always fun. And I can't believe I'm a senior now to think about. I mean, I was just a freshman back in right when the pandemic was still going on. And, you know, to think about it now, wow, I really had one... <laughs> fun of a college life but with all the stuff going on to think about and then coming here to Kalu I mean that was a whole other thing in itself uh finding out my school my freshman year uh, after I two weeks before finals finding out that my school closed and then coming to a new school and having to build new friendships all over again uh that was just crazy to think about and now look where I've gotten you know I, t I take these as little baby steps right what I will you know you just never know you know like things always you know there's always things going on but I think you just have to give yourself some grace and just you know say that okay I can do this and even coming on here for the first time was nerve-wracking right I scheduled to be on Saturday so that I could do it by myself and and um that's how it went like that's all I did just was here by you know I'm here by myself at the station nobody else is here so I can take as long as I want and nobody's after me so and you know so I'm excited for how this is going to turn out and yeah being on a station you're listening to ICLU Radio. This is Ethan on your campus station. You're listening to ICLU Radio. This is Ethan on your campus station. Thank you guys so much for keeping on with me. I really appreciate it. So here's a bunch of other things I do because I feel like I need to tell you guys, you know, what else I do. Because like, 
uh, I make content. I do a lot of UGC stuff, so user-generated content, uh, basically showing what I get. And also making, you know, some of them are skits, some of them are not skits, some of them are generally because I just enjoy what I'm doing. Like, my whole thing is lifestyle, and my whole thing is just just being genuine and being, being you, to be honest. Like, that's that's my whole thing, right? And don't sleep on all the social media platforms. You gotta, and don't spread yourself thin because spreading yourself thin, you gotta, you gotta be on every platform. If you want people to know you, you know, do it in a way where people enjoy what you do. So this, this podcast is just like an intro podcast that talks with Ethan Klein official, where you can listen to my other episode and then you'll get a sense of what I'm here talking about but this is going to be a tech podcast it's going to be social media related this this is just going to be an interlude of things and then sometimes I might have a special guest on uh, an artist on if they want to come on and talk or somebody in the social media field I would love to you know bring them on so whoever's listening you know you might you might have a spot on the the show also there is a way to call in uh, if you ever want to call into the station I am here for about another hour and a half. So, but yeah, so you can call in and say what you want to say. Uh, I'm still learning the board, so bear with me. But yeah, uh, I had to take the confidence to learn the board on Monday. Muscle memory everything for today. Uh, it was. It wasn't that bad it was not that bad thank god it's not at a big radio station that has a huge board because when it's at a real radio station you have your board and then you have another board in the control room and they have to you know decide on what what happens so yeah now the board is set to what it is and You know, it should be good. You know, the board is set. So I'm I'm using a couple of things to multitask. And that's how I get everything uh, together. Uh, One of the products I've actually been using for a little bit is this iPhone case. That's a sustainability company called Pila. I really love their, what they do for the environment. It's a phone case made of plants. So I try to once in a while just, you know, drop something I'm using or drop something I'm doing. So I love the case. That's why I have it. I respect what they do with the sustainability of it. Also, I do a lot of other product placement stuff on my social media. And by the way, I'm not being paid to say this. So if I was being paid, I would have to make sure to say hashtag ad. Because I don't want nobody come af- coming after me. So yeah. So if you ever in that realm of social media, the FTC is always watching. And the whoever listens to the radio station stuff, they're always watching. So you got to make sure to, to claim that it's an ad when it's an ad needed. Or paid thing when it's needed. The Oreo Coca-Cola thing was not a paid thing. So... I could talk about it all I want. And I was invited by Coca-Cola and Oreo. And through a a PR firm called Weber Shanwick, which thank you so much to Weber Shanwick for, uh, for finding me as a creator and believing in what I do because I think that's just, that's just really, really huge uh, that a, that a PR firm believes in me and sees my work and, decided to invite me you know I didn't know that was gonna happen you know I just got an email and I obviously you do your research before you go to these some of these events because it's important you always do your due diligence any email I get from any company there's a lot of scam emails out there so that's why LinkedIn is the key platform to find anybody who's works at a company 
you get an email and you don't think one second that it's legit, use LinkedIn because LinkedIn, they will list, if you look up a person's name, they will list what they do at that company usually and that they're legit, you know? And if usually there's a lot of scams right now going around that a lot of these brands are pretending to email creators and they'll be like Fashion Nova sponsorships at Gmail. If it has an at Gmail, do not do it because uh, most likely those are scams and you don't want to, you don't want to be, uh, you know, somebody trying to scam you. And especially when it comes to the brand deals and stuff like that, read, uh, read your contracts because that's very, 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 very important. Uh, as a content creator, you have to to make sure you're not liable for anything, you know. Uh, there's been cases where people don't read their contracts and then they, they get into something and then they realize, oh, there's this clause in here that I that the company gets to own the content for six months. Yeah, so you know your worth, read your contracts, uh, make sure you disclose properly, and just honestly be you that's what it comes down to at the end of the day and with talks of talks with ethan klein official this is a talk i am having with you guys on this radio station a live radio station obviously this is going to be syndicated right after i have to edit it take out the music because this is this uh when you use a podcast and you do music uh you don't want you don't want um the music labels or anything coming after you when it comes to um, when it comes to this type of work they're very 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 strict so that's why if you use music in your videos like if you use a YouTube short and you you put music in it only use the music that me that YouTube has licensed to that's very 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 important. If you start playing music and you do not have a license to it, they'll either copyright claim you or they'll take, they'll, they'll basically, um, you know, uh, the artist will claim your, your music, their music. So yeah, that's, that's, um, that's what you really need to do because, uh, only use the music that is licensed or if it's music that's called um, commercial sounds, it's commercially licensed. So, yeah, commercially licensed uh, is important because uh, commercially it can be used for commercial purposes. All right, well, let's get to the next song. And this is, you're listening to ICL, ICLU Radio from Ethan on your campus station. Wow, so we're at the 11.55 mark. I'm going to talk about food because I also go on a lot of food adventures around Los Angeles. Uh, since uh, food is food, that's what I got to say. Uh, <laughs> uh, going around Los Angeles to different restaurants and small businesses uh, has been really fun, especially here in the Thousand Oaks area. And especially back home, uh, going to food places has been one of my favorite things. Uh, when I post from restaurants, sometimes the restaurants see what I post. So yeah, uh, we, uh, we've done a lot of food, uh, helping local small businesses around the Thousand Oaks area. And uh, for the students here, we get 10% off discounts just by showing your CLUID to certain restaurants that we've worked with. Uh, our Samba ambassadors here and uh, Lettuce Social have a partnership where we get to go to these restaurants. And pretty much how it works is we get to go in, talk to the owner, uh, interview the owner, talk, get to try their food. And then with that, it's building relationship around the community of Conejo Valley and Thousand Oaks and Westlake area. So, yeah, guys. Uh, check out those pages because then you can um, you can go and use your ID if you're a student here and get discounts off your food 
or drink. So yeah, uh, I very highly encourage that. And especially with just restaurants around LA. I mean, there's a lot of restaurants uh, that are just around. Uh, recently in the news, uh, Kevin Hart had his Hart House that recently closed, um, which I never got to try. I know it's an all vegan restaurant, but I saw a lot of my influencer friends go to. And so, you know, uh, crazy to say that, like, saw it all over the news. Um, but yeah, I would have gone there if it was still open. But, you know, restaurants come and go. And that's how it is, and live, especially living in L.A. But there's so many taco places around here, even the, the hole in the walls and the the stands it's been really good tacos because <laughs> it's saturday i mean i had tacos last night for dinner but i wanted somewhere else another taco for today because i think tacos is just stamping ground here in los angeles especially you can get it from the carts you can get it from the street vendors yeah go support a local street vendor guys uh those they always they're always uh, out there for the people. So go and support street vendors and enjoy a taco or a hot dog on the, on the, the road because, you know, local street vendors always need it. I think that's important. Plus, uh, so many food places around here that um, that are good. Sometimes you can get sick of them for going down like 20 times, but you know, it's always good. It's always good food. But yeah, uh, especially around here, there's there's a bunch of food places, local food places and also chain places, especially where our school's located. There's There's a lot, but yeah. So now we're going to talk about the food I've tried and and stuff from those restaurants the small businesses uh there's a place called slice house which i like uh you can buy a single slice or you can buy what's like a detroit or chicago slice which are like the square slices uh they're amazing there's so much pizza around here that's good uh a lot of pizza shops around here especially around new york too so many pizza shops. Just pizza all over the place. <laughs> so yeah, you know, always get yourself a slice. If you're looking for good pizza around LA, I would recommend Danny Boy's. It's pizza from New York. They have one in down they have a location in downtown LA and then they have a new location in Westwood on Westwood Village. So go try it. Yes, it's it's delicious. Uh you know, pizza is always a thing around here. Uh mulberry especially too, the big slices. You know, nobody you know, everybody wants a huge slice of pizza or if you're in a rush, you know, getting a huge slice of pizza is like is like uh you know, it's a it's a cool thing uh for what it is. And especially with restaurants, there's been a lot of restaurants that have invited me to to places too. And some of them I went to. Especially the amount of food things that are around here. There's this one event that I really wanted to go to this year, but I didn't get to go. It was this this uh, fast food thing. So what they do is they give you mini boxes of fast food. Like you go around and they basically give you mini boxes of fast food places. They're just like mini tastings. But it's like this food event. And one of the things I really miss is this place called Kukuru. And it came back just for that. Uh, they don't have any locations anymore. It was very popular. Uh, Kukuru was like a, the chicken and the mac and cheese. It was amazing. Uh, especially. I loved it. And then they had a, you know, Kukuru, like the, the mac and cheese. and chicken. It was just amazing. And then there was a... There's this place called California Chicken Cafe, which has, like, the salads and pasta salads, which are good, too. But, yeah, there's so many good places around L.A., especially wherever you live, the valley, 
Hollywood, West Hollywood, depending on where you want to go, where you want to eat, where you where you want to feel and dine. I think, you know, uh, there's so many places that I could recommend to somebody if they're first time being in California, depending on where they go. But uh, location wise, I think, you know, there's so there's so many places to explore. You got Sushi Row in uh, Studio City, which has a bunch of sushi restaurants down a whole row of Studio City. You've got, you know, restaurants in West Hollywood. You got the high end fancy restaurants in Beverly Hills and in West Hollywood a little bit. But yeah, there's so many, there's so much food out here in LA. Whatever you want, you can find on, you know, online or you can. You know, there's there's a bunch of places. Some of them require reservations too, but you know, you're listening to ICLU Radio. This is Ethan on your campus station. You're listening to ICLU Radio. This is Ethan on your campus station. Well, welcome back, guys. Thank you all so much for listening in. This is your host, Ethan. Let's get into it. I'm still working on the Talk with Ethan Klein official podcast. Uh, this will be syndicated on all podcasting platforms so get ready because i gotta edit this down and i gotta take out the copyright music because the the copyright music needs to be out of it due to licensing but yeah so when it comes to you know music licensing is how it like important it is so that's why uh you know licensing has a huge deal in music and so you know i gotta I'm gonna clip this together and use it. Uh, I'm I'm currently right now live on Instagram. If you want to see me in person, you can watch me there. Uh, we're back. This has been a really fun process uh, learning the board, and uh, I know I have to click only a few buttons, but uh, my muscle memory is coming back to me, which is great. Uh, and I might bring on some special guests. We also have a station phone number to call into. I just got to learn how to, you know, to answer the call and then drop it to make sure everybody can hear everybody. So, yeah, I got to get that little technical part in. I know there's a button on the machine or the deck. You call it a deck and you can call in and do that. But yeah, so we're back live. Uh, let's see what else is happening. I know right now uh, everybody's mind is talking about uh, the election. And, you know, we got to register to vote. That's one thing that um, it's one thing that I encourage all of you to do is to register to vote because it's very important. Anyways... Yes, that's a huge important thing. Uh, right now, I'm just uh, sitting here on my own conducting the show. These are the thoughts right now that are coming to my mind because everything sometimes just flows, sometimes it doesn't flow. <laughs> but <laughs> uh, right uh, after this, I'm probably going to go watch the Kalu football game happening, the first game of the season at 1. So probably going to go watch that. And then probably for the rest of the day, work on homework and talk to my online friends on other social audio apps, which I'm probably going to bring some of them on here, too, so they can be a part of it, the show, because you never know, you know, never know what to ask, you know, asking somebody to come on or for their time, you know. So I think it would be a really cool opportunity to bring on some people and have some content creator chats on this this podcast too so we're gonna have content creator chats we're gonna talk about tech we're gonna talk about a bunch of a bunch of things that's related to what what is going on in today uh, with music social media because i think it's important to highlight how far we've how far we've came with now we can pretty much do anything and especially with ai anybody can be now be um what do you call it uh <laughs> deep faked you know that's a that's a whole other thing you know deep faking is uh 
is a pretty crazy thing. Um, people can make deep fakes, voices, you know, so AI is a huge talk right now. And I, it's just going to keep getting bigger, bigger, and bigger. And then eventually AI is just, you know, you're going to be able to do <laughs> basically everything. I know people are worried that it's going to take over people's jobs, but, you know, uh, I use AI as a tool right now to, as like a, a tool to like, more like a researching tool. Like if I'm, or enhance something I'm working on, because I feel like there's many different purposes people use it for, but for me, it's an enhancement tool. Like how can I make, or I'm reading a document. How can I understand it my own, in my own way? I think that's like what I'll use AI for, you know, because, you know, we're, you know, or if I don't understand something and I think that's when AI plays a whole role in using it as a tool for anything when it comes to research or, you know, it's important. That's what, that's what it should be used for, you know? Being in this room is just, there's always something to look around at. You have posters, you have a wall, we have old, old, uh, we do, here we do our own like little, uh, I would say Coachella type of thing. It's called Calapalooza and just looking at the old, um, the old, uh, lineup of different people who performed last year. And yeah, we get a stage and everything. So, you know, Calapalooza, can't wait for it this year. It's going to be my last one. I got to perform at this one. And you never know. You know? We got merch tables, we got snacks, different things like that. Yeah. It's, uh, we do lip sync battles here. Um, lip sync battles, uh, you can do, you know, there's so many things that goes on on this campus that being, even being a part of the radio station, being a part of the radio station is something, uh, that, uh, is important, you know, this is my first time operating everything, you know, as you can see, the red light is on, so you know, we're live. We're live, you know? We're live. <laughs> so yeah, we're live right now. Um But yeah, this is this is the first episode with Talks with Ethan Klein Official, you know? And we just go from there, you know? Hey, I see <laughs> Thanks, Jerry. Sorry, I'm like looking at I I'm doing IG live as I'm I'm live on here. Uh we do can call in too. There's a call in number. People can call in, but I don't know how to transfer it on the board, but I'm I'm lear I'm learning the the steps. But yeah. Um people could call and ask questions and stuff. I should I should give the number out and we'll see if it works. If it doesn't work, then we'll try again. But um but yeah. Uh, we got, you know, state-of-the-art equipment to be on the radio. And I'm going to do this every every Sunday. Uh, today's, or today's Saturday, sorry. Every Saturday or Sunday from 11 p.m. to 1 p to one. Uh, sorry, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. So, yeah, uh, you'll hear me live, and we'll just go from there. And I love to bring... I would say some guests on. <laughs> if anybody from here wants to be a guest to come on, I would love to do it if if you have time and um uh, if you're okay with me putting it online or putting it on the like my right my podcast, uh I would love to I would love to bring you on and do it, you know? Uh yeah. <laughs> this is this is uh you know, my first time. <laughs> Anyways, um, but yeah, Apple is, uh, Apple right now is launching their iPhone 16s. Uh, it starts, the uh, pre-orders have already started. iOS, iOS 18 comes out on, in two days. Uh, iPhone 16, you can pre-order now and it comes out on the 20th. The new iPhones, the new watches, 
the new watch, and the new, <laughs> and the new AirPods. They all come out. Um, thank you for the Ryan Seacrest comments. I appreciate it. Uh, I don't know what, <laughs> but yeah. So I'm super duper excited to be here, and yes, this will be on every platform. So. I'm geeking. I'm geeking out on this a little bit, guys. Geeking meaning out. I'm excited, and uh, we'll see what comes in the future with this. And I'm being vulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you gotta be vulnerable. Uh, even the even it was so nerve wracking on real radio. And this is this is college radio, so I'll bring some people from other radio stations out here probably who knows we'll we'll see what's in the pipeline but i would love to bring some people on here uh it would be amazing an amazing opportunity <laughs> thank you for the comments guys i appreciate it <laughs> anyways um i just want to say uh that i really enjoyed this and that um we have till one o'clock so you know uh anything else i can talk about we'll talk about it um but yeah so let's sing. you're listening to iclu radio this is ethan on your campus station you're listening to iclu radio this is ethan on your campus station let's go welcome back guys i'm so excited to still be out here Yes, you know, what's up? Anyways, actually, I wanted to point something out. Um, yesterday, there was a hoax going on Threads. If you guys don't know what Threads is, Threads is a new social media platform by Meta. Um, basically, what happened was somebody spread misinformation about this thing going on where uh, this hoax that people spread it about if you zoom to somebody's Instagram photo, you would get a notification. I just got to debunk that for a minute because people were going crazy yesterday on threads saying that this this new thing is true and it was it was wild. Let me tell you. The head of Instagram, Adam Masuri, confirmed it yesterday that that is not true at all. Zooming into somebody's photo on Instagram, you will not get a notification. I just can't believe people figure out ways to do crazy stuff like that. Like, how does, you know, information spread so quick? You know, it's just wild to see for somebody to come on threads, say something crazy like that, and make a fake screenshot of a notification and saying that uh, if you zoom into someone's photo that they're going to get notified. How quick can somebody create that hoax? That's just wild to me. I understand there's leakers in in the community, but that's like pretty crazy. Like, how can the hoax be crazy created that quick? You know, it's just it's just mind boggling that somebody can go on social media and put out a post saying that that Instagram is notifying people if you zoom in to their profile. It's just mind-boggling. Like, what? That's just crazy to me. There's a lot of misconception that goes around with social media. A lot of people say stuff that isn't true. So, you know, with, with, um, it's very important that, like, you know, uh, social media, make sure you're reading up on everything because, It might not be true information. You know, you have to get it from the actual source. Somebody can make a false assumption about a social media thing, and then it doesn't happen. Just make sure you get your information from the source. Like, that's just... That's just wild. Somebody can come up with something like that and frame it in a way where somebody can just zoom in and, like do something like that that's just whack that's crazy that's why information spreads so quick when it comes to when it comes to like 
social media. So that's why it's very important. You know, like, um, you know, uh, just do your research. Like, honestly, do your research. Research is very important when you're going to say something. You know? Or say allegedly. <laughs> so then, cover your butt. Uh, it's important. It's very important. Yes, it's very, 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 very important. Um, yeah, cover your butt, guys. That's why when I edit this in post-production, you're not going to hear the music and you're just going to hear me. You're going to obviously hear you're listening to ICLU Radio, your campus station. But this has to be, sh um, music-wise, has to be taken out, all the music. And I'm going to put in maybe my own music. I wrote a song with uh, AI that I'm, that I'm using for per personal use. And so when I do that, yeah, it's very, um, you know, important to do that because it's, it's just important. That's why, you know, make sure you know where you're getting your music from. It's another thing to think about is know where you're getting your music from. And we're live on air, so, you know, being live here on air is, is another thing, you know. You got to use it the right way, being on air. Especially you have a masses listening. Who knows who's listening to me? It could be family members. It could be, it could be you guys on here listening. So that's why I got to set an example, you know. And I'm probably going to do these, I'm going to probably do these, um, I'm going to do these every, every Saturday, which I'm super duper excited for. I'll bring some people on and I'm excited for this. I really am. I don't know how it's going to sound after because I can't hear myself talk. I know it's recording, but. I don't hear nothing, you know, you know, so being on a radio station, you also get the crisp audio and that's like, that's the best thing. Seriously, getting that crisp audio and now I'm going to put it on my platforms. It's just going to be amazing. I don't know. We'll see. And I think I'm going to pursue this and do this. Because I'm having a great time right now, guys. I really am. It's wild. Yeah. It's, uh, you know. This is wild. And this is something new I'm doing for my first time. The first time might not even be perfect. It's going to be out. But I'm going to release one on whatever site. Someone was telling me there was a site... The person who previously is in here before me, he was telling me about a site where I can use the music. So I might release this on that site and then take some of the stuff from this and put it on my podcast. So, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. But, yeah, I would love to bring on people and bring on influencer friends and, you know. It's going to be fun, guys really is I'm really super duper excited I I was so nervous last night I really was it was just like when I when I went on the radio for the first time the public radio this was a talk show so and when you're on radio you cannot have dead air so this is preparing me for the future with no dead air and yeah I can't wait to see, you know, I have a lot of things in the pipeline waiting. So, yeah. Oh, my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, I just can't believe I did this. I walked in this morning. I was just like, and the person before me, I was like, 
So I was just watching him control the board, and he's basically just telling me, don't touch any, don't move anything down, and just be you. Wow. I don't know. I think I did this, guys. I feel proud. I feel accomplished. Let's see what else is going on in news. Be honest. With social media platforms. AI is just... uh, with the platforms, AI is so sensitive now uh, because uh makes a lot of assumptions that needs to be cleared up. And platforms, you know, obviously have humans working behind the scenes, but then they also need, for certain people, like I feel like just in general, AI just needs to be like, you know, priority for a lot of these platforms. Especially right now, because a lot of people complain daily that they get banned or they get, you know, removed off the platforms because they weren't, and, you know, I've been messaged before by an AI. It it happens sometimes, but, you know, hey, we can't expect AI to be perfect. It's just going to be, you know, these are going to improve, like, these are learning language models, so anything that you do post an AI is going to have to analyze it. And sometimes it's not correct. I've had other posts removed because of a drumming circle. I posted a, a drumming circle video. And that got removed for obscene content. Even though it was just people banging drums. So yeah. Uh, you know. Sometimes those things happen. And that's how it goes. Alright we're going to. We have about 20 minutes left. Here we go. You're listening to ICLU Radio on This Is Ethan on your campus station. You're listening to ICLU Radio, This Is Ethan on your local campus station. I just saw recently there was a article about AirPods and how now the new AirPods that are just coming out are FDA approved as hearing aids, which is very interesting. I mean, wow, to think about that, you know. Um, it's going to be crazy to think about that hearing aids are going to be more popular now because of the new AirPods. Allegedly, I heard that uh, from a bunch of tech sources. They're the Apple AirPods Pro 2 Hearing Health, and you can pioneer your hearing, according to the Apple page, and they are FDA approved. So... You know, we'll see. I would love to see how it works, the hearing aid technology, um, as these new headphones start rolling out, which is very interesting. They retail for about, I'm looking on the site right now, they retail for about a good $249. I think, usually that's, I think, the usual AirPod price. But I wonder how the hearing aid feature is gonna, how the hearing aid feature is gonna work, you know, as a consumer. So we'll see. I mean, Apple hearing aids, AirPods Pro two hearing aids. Um, I cannot wait for the new AirPod line. And everything's USB C now, guys. No more Lightning. Everybody's switching. Which is crazy to think about. I know I see a lot of videos come out that say don't buy the iPhone 16. But it's like I want the USB-C. My Mac is USB-C. The only item that's not USB-C is my my phone. And the reason why is because the EU made it a law requirement now. So if you're a part of the EU, European Union, uh, you have to use USB-C. There's no choice. So the, so the only device that I technically have that's lightning right now is um, my phone. I think I need to do it. I mean, I know it's a hefty upgrade, but like, it's like, you know, it's a hefty upgrade. I mean, for an iPhone. I mean, obviously it's going to, no, there's cost involved with upgrades, especially. 
and there's sometimes deals. So you never know, you know. Yeah, so, you know, there's always, uh, when it comes to pricing and when it comes to, um, there's always a, you know, there's always a, you need to, you need to make sure that you get it for the right purpose and that new AI stuff is coming out. Uh, it's called Apple AI or it's an interesting thing that they're, but the only phones that are compatible with it are the newer phones. It's called Apple Intelligence. So, you know, it's like, wow. It's like, um, you know, we're getting intelligence, Apple. I mean, it's like, uh, wow, we're going to start, we're going to start being able to, um, to use AI on our phones. Wow. AI, f AI on the phone. I mean, Google has Bard. I think they have their own, their own AI, which is crazy. So, you know, which is wild. You know, or um, for that, it's just crazy to think about having AI on our phones now. That means that obviously we still have to do the work. We still have to write our messages. But now AI can be a hand in different things like spelling, making us write better, understanding. I've used AI for a couple of emails, not... I wrote the emails myself, but then I, what do you call it? I, um, I edited, um, I used AI to enhance the email to make it more clear. These days people love clear emails, emails that flow well. Sometimes people only use one word on emails. So email is email. Always check your emails because you never know what might be waiting for you. Some special opportunity might be waiting for you. Using an email is very important. An email and a LinkedIn. And then, you know, the other platforms as well. That's what it should be. You know? It's important. Yeah. You know, email is always email. I'd be posting reels and you know, you guys can check out my stuff. I'm on I'm on everything. So I'm always be I always have to show up. If you don't show up, then uh you're missing out. You're missing out. You know? I'm glad to be here. And and again, uh, this is what I do. And that's a quick overview. One thing I want to tell you guys is do your stuff. Be you. Nobody can dictate what you do. Do what you're passion. Do what you enjoy. Be intentional. And be you, to be honest. Right now, you know, you got this. Do your stuff. Be happy. Every everything you everything you accomplish. Make it a moment. Make it something that you enjoy. Truly. Every event I've been to, I've been to some positive events and some negative events. 
and some people weren't nice to me at these specific events. I don't hold grudges because I'm just not that type of person. It's what it's like being out here in L.A. and uh, being a public stature of figure, you know. I'm a public figure, so... A number doesn't define who you are. That's one thing you guys need to know. I'm going to repeat it again. A number doesn't define who you are as an individual being. I think people need to treat each other kindly. And people need to see and believe in people. And I think it's it will be more genuine at the end of the outcome. I've been to plenty of events. As I said in my other podcast, I've been to plenty plenty events. I've seen a lot with my own eyes. Obviously, I don't post those experiences online because I feel like at the end of the day, I'm there to network. I'm there to be present. So what stuff happened at these events? Don't take grudges. If people treat you the way they're going to treat you, then step away. Don't let them, you know, step on you or stop you from what you're doing or stop your light. Even online. Same thing with online. Numerous trolls, numerous people who don't believe in me and realize at the end of the day that A lot of stuff like that. You know? And... You know? That's uh, important to think about because... uh, You know... Some people might be the same on the internet. Some people might be a different in person. And words do hurt. And... Sometimes, if people say things, but just know you'll get through it. You'll get through it, and you'll do your thing. And just know that, just know that everybody's doing their own thing to reach their own goal. And we're human. You know, not everything has to be perfect in life. Life can sometimes be challenging, sometimes, and I just want everybody to know that everything will work out in the end if things don't work out in the first place, and I think it's important to highlight that because, again, you know, we live in our own bubble, at least for me. Like, I have friends, but sometimes living in the bubble, own bubble, you know? Just know that everything's okay if you put yourself out there. I know it takes a gut feeling sometimes to meet people. And sometimes you might be nervous to cry, you know, your nerves might be going. But just know that. At the end, things will work out. Things will do well in life. And I'm just coming out with that thought for you guys because I feel like as people listening, to give you some context of what I do, I put myself out there every day. And either people are going to say nice things or people are going to say mean things or make fun. It was worse when I was younger. But just know that um, I, you know, don't take things seriously. If people are going to say these these rude things online to you. And this, this is for everybody who does this stuff. You know, you might be in my shoes. You might not be in my shoes. But don't take anything serious that people are going to say to you online and just know that everything will be all right 
and just be you. I think that's how it goes. And I think people need to to see that and say that I can do this. And just be you. And just know that everything will be okay. And keep trying with whatever you want to achieve in life. I know I'm not perfect. And so you see my profiles and you might seem like, oh, he might be perfect every day. No, I'm not perfect every day. So just wanted you to know that. Anyways, we have only 11 minutes left of the show. I'm going to do a closing out song because, you know, and I think this song will resonate with everyone that's maybe going through something and that uh, people need to hear and say that you did it, you know? I mean, I didn't even know if I was going to do the full radio show for the full hour. I had to push myself. And, yeah, um, I'm sweating right now as I'm as I'm saying this. It's tears of sweat are coming out. But just know that you'll be good. And I cannot wait to do this talk with Ethan Klein official show again for you guys here on ICLU Radio. And you're listening to ICLU Radio from Ethan on your campus station. Thank you guys so much for listening. Let's get into it. If I have enough time after the song, I'm going to speak and do my last remarks and then move on to the next person whose time it is. You're listening to ICLU Radio. This is Ethan on your campus station. That song has always been a hit of mine, you know, when you accomplish something. So I feel like that's why I think it's important to play this song. I know we have a good, like, five to ten minutes left. So I just want to give my final remarks and say thank you to ICLU Radio and thank you to Kyle for helping me learn the board. And, yeah, this is my first time doing this. I really enjoyed it. And we'll do more shows. I'm here on most likely every Saturday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. I might, if I need to skip a Saturday, then I'll notify you via my social media. So my handles are all at Ethan Klein Official, all one word. Um, the only handle that I don't have that is for X, which is E Klein Official, and then Snapchat is Ethan Klein Snap. So, yeah, um, I'm glad to be here with you guys. Let's get the weekend going and let's root on our Kingsman football team because it's going to be a crazy game and fun. And it starts in about uh, at 1 o'clock p.m. So I'm happy to be here, guys. Thank you guys so much for having me on. And yeah, I'm here to close out. You're listening to ICLU Radio. This is Ethan on your campus station.